What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, check out the team that we are showcasing for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Landorus team alongside coaching Galarian Zapdos. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way and it only takes a second of your guys' time to subscribe to the channel or even like the video. All you guys gotta do is scroll down just a little bit and just click both those buttons. Thank you guys so much. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Will. Will, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. It looks amazing. Cannot wait to get after it considering we don't really use Galarian Zapdos. So he's gonna be fun. He's gonna be a cool Pokemon to show off on the ranked double ladder. But getting started, we have that Zapdos in that top left corner. Defiant ability, so that's going to be well up against Intimidate Pokemon or teams that are rolling with Intimidate Pokemon. Choice Scarf as its item, so we can outspeed most Pokemon. Coaching to coach up with that Landorus, because he's our big physical attacker. We got Brave Bird for stab, Thunderous Kick for stab, and U-Turn for our pivot move. Right next to him is going to be Lapras, our best special attacker for the team. We got Shell Armor as his ability, Light Clay as his item, so when we set the War Veil with our G-Max move, it's 8 turns instead of 5, and that amazing move set of Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Thunder, and Protect. Middle left is going to be our big physical attacker for the team, that Life for Blanders. Intimidate ability, Protect, Fly, EQ, Rock Slide, nothing you guys haven't seen before. It's just going to be able to pair really well with this Zapdos because I can coach it up, get that attack boost, get that defense boost, and dominate the battle from there. Middle right is going to be Regilecki over here with the Transistor ability, and this time, he is Choice Specked as his item. And Choice Specked Regilecki does big damage, so hopefully we can get to show him off, get to do some decent damage, and take out Pokemon in one shot. We got Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, E-Web for Speed Control, and Rising Voltage, which will double its power in the Electric Surge. Speaking of Electric Surge, that leads me to the next Pokemon, which is going to be Tapu Koko, right below him with that Electric Surge ability and the Focus Sash as his item. So he's going to be able to pair super well with this Regilecki as he can get that Surge out there and get double damage rolling with Regilecki. So he'll have Stab Damage, Double Damage to Surge, Surge Boost, because I think it boosts Electric type moves, and then we got Choice Spec. That is huge damage. And Transistor. Like, dude, this thing is going to be ridiculous, doing some huge damage with Tapu Koko on the field. Tapu Koko has Taunt for Support Mons, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt, both for Stab, and Protect as his final move. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Grimstarl, our nice little Support Mon, with that Prankster ability, but Beery Berry as his item so we can soak up a Steel Shot. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Fake Tears for Special Defense Drops, so he's going to be able to pair well with any Special Attacker like Lapras, or even Regilecki, or even Tapu Koko. And then we got Thunder Wave for Paralyzing Speed Control, and Spirit Break for our Stab and Special Attack Drop. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Galarian Zapdos and Life Orb Landorus team. Let's get it rocking, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into battle number one, going up against a Reggie Gigas team alongside of Latias, Milotic, Kartana, Tapu Koko, and Galarian Weezing. Not Galarian Weezing, regular Weezing. My fault. I'm so used to saying Galarian Weezing, considering we are in the Gala region. But who should I start? Who should I lead? I think. A great little thing is going to be the Zapdos Landers. Try to show off this combo, get it rocking in battle number one, and get after it. Um, he has no ground type Pokemon, so Regilecki is awesome here. I really do like Regilecki all around here. And then my final Pokemon, do I bring Lapras? Hmm. Lapras or Coco as a back end Pokemon? I'm trying to think. I mean, Lapras is really good, but then he has that Kartana who checks it. Same thing with Coco. So I think I'm just going to bring my own Coco in here. Have him as a back end. We have Focus Ash. We can do a decent amount of work with him and get rocking out from there. But guys, since Series 10 is right around the corner, let me know for question of the day what Pokemon you guys would like to see me play in Series 10. Like I said, it's right around the corner, and I like to plan ahead, so I would love to get teams of Pokemon that you guys want to see. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys do have rental codes for Series 10, Leave them in my Instagram DMs. Most likely, I'll play because I'm looking for hundreds of, not even, I'm, hundreds is over exactly. But I'm looking for a bunch of Series 10 teams to use on the ranked double ladder. So there's a high chance of me playing your team if you send it in in my Instagram DMs. But you guys got to make sure they are battle mark ready, which means they're ready for rank play. Don't send me teams that I can't play on the rank ladder. That is the worst. It is the worst. Because I set everything up, get after it, and then I click on them like, dude, I can't even use them in rank. And I know you guys would rather see rank than casual gameplay. But he leads to Regigegas. And the Galarian Weezing. Not Galarian Weezing. And the regular Weezing. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to drop a big old Max Quake. Get that stab. And I think I'm just going to take out Weezing. No problem. It might that Dynamax a, uh, a Gigas. But I think I just get after this Weezing. Say, get out my face. Drop him in one shot. No problem. Let's see how this one plays out. We're going to Dynamax a Bird. And I wonder if he's going to Dynamax a Regigigas. He might. But I'm hoping he doesn't. 
I'm hoping he does not. But I think he's just normal typing. Is that what Regigigas is? I think he's just normal typing. So he might just hit me with a max strike to slow me down. So maybe I have to go for an airstream next turn. We shall see. We shall see. Is he Dynamaxing? He is. Imagine he Dynamaxes to Weezing. <laughs> we just dump on it. But I think we're totally fine here. Couldn't, I don't know if he's physical or special attacking. But we're getting both a defense boost and a special defense boost from a max queen. And we'll get the defense boost from the coaching, of, uh, not a the coaching move from our lovely little ostrich. I love this ostrich. Protect can come out from here. How could, like, dude, I had a feeling he was going to protect. That buttery biscuit protects. Coaching comes out here. Yeet. Run it. Run it, baby. There you go. Max Quick is now popping. Let's see how this one plays out. Get some damage off on this thing. Decent amount of damage. Um, I would love to swap. I really would like to swap. We get a crit too. That's huge. That's a big old crit. Imagine if crit went through uh, protects. That would be that would be pretty dope. But then it would make it even more broken. Just, could you imagine making a hard read on a protect and then somebody critting and it hits through your protect? That'd be whack. He's gonna slow us down with that uh, max strike, which I'm totally fine with. I think I'm totally fine with. He gets that speed drop and leftovers is just gonna start popping. Um, I could coach again, which I am going to do 100%. But I think Zapdos goes down next turn, so I'm going to coach, and I'm going to get our speed back. I'm going to say, hey, give me my speed back. Getting real sick of you taking my speed. Getting real sick of you taking my speed. He's going to end up withdrawing this boy, and he's going to go out into who? So it starts going to pop out here. Regigigas can't get going. Intimidate's coming out here, and we get an attack drop. That is huge. And he's going to send out Latios. Thinking I'm gonna quake into him again. That was stupid. That's stupid talk. You think I'm quaking into you again? Wasting a max move? You think I'm wasting a max move on a Pokemon with like 10 HP? Nah, we don't do that. We don't do that. Here goes our airstream out here. Getting some decent damage on halfing it up. And we get our speed back, which is more important. And I think he's gonna start setting up a tailwind. That might be his play. But he might just go for another max strike. Yeah, take out my bird. Can you take out my bird? He goes for a steel spike. Take out my bird. Thank you. Alright, so he finally takes out my bird. He gets rid of him. He does not get rid of my bird. I think we're going to coach up again. <laughs> Might as well, right? We're going to coach here. And do I just go for another airstream? I think we still might take out. Let's see. 130. These are both 130. Uh, what does Jeans want to do here? Just in case he goes for a max strike. We're going to go after this. Or I can just dump on this Latios, which I might just do. He might guard. We're going to go for this uh, airstream. Let's see what happens here. He's going to ally switch. Okay, that, that's totally fine. Now it's just going to make me look like a genius like I read him. It's going to make me look like a genius here. <laughs> he did get a defense boost, but we are going to, I guess, cancel it out with this attack boost. And now we're going for an airstream. Look at this. It makes us look like a genius if we carry this thing. We do. Look at that play. Look at that amazing play by Jeans. <laughs> Yeah, I meant to read that, Alice. Would you guys know Jeans, Jeans meant that? But no, it's all good. I was I, I either want to take out the Latios. But that works just fine, considering we take out his Regigigas, and he gets off no turns, basically, considering he Alice switched, and he did nothing to me. So lovely. You gotta love it. If he would have just went normal, it would have been fine. Like, if he didn't hit Alice switch, it would have been totally chilling, because I was going after his Latios anyway. But we take those. Take those all day. Cartana's gonna come out here. And what do you think I'm going to do again? I think I'm going to coach up. I might just drop an EQ. Actually, I cannot. That's on Levitate Pokemon. But I'm going to coach up again. <laughs> for, for sure. For sure we're going to coach up again. And I might fly and dip out. I don't think Kartana's Rocket Protect. Yeah, because if I fly here, he'll miss. And then he'll Tailwind this turn and miss again. Watch this. Watch this. Give me that coach again. Yeah. What are we, plus four? Dang, Ostrich is teeing off. I like, dude, why is he coaching so much? <laughs> but I really do think Kartana is going to come to my uh, Landris, right? I oh, know you're going to take him out. Okay, I thought I thought maybe he was going to set up a tailwind. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Finally, a bird goes down after four coaching. Usually, I like to get him off off me at, at like two, but this works just fine. So it comes down to here. I can bring out. Ooh, I can bring out. I think I'm going to bring out Coco. Get that surge rolling just so we have Regilecki in the surge in the back, and I can dazzle and gleam up. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. We know that fly is going to do 
more than enough damage to take out that Kartana, but Kartana could potentially be sashed, so I'm going to be throwing out this Azzling Gleam, just get some big damage off onto the Latios, and uh, just in case he's sashed, because look at these stats. Look at these stats. Let me, let me show you guys my stats real quick. Lando. Woo! Woo! Look at him stats, baby! Attack plus four, defense plus four, special defense plus one, and speed plus one. Let's get after it. Let's get after it, baby. Lando's just gonna fly. I knew Cortana's not rocking protect. And that should be easy KO. No sash. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Dropping him left and right. Start off real strong. Now that we got him going, this is pretty much GG's because I have my uh I have my boy in the back. I have my Regilecki boy in the back who is choice. He's gonna mystical fire. Which is just going to do damage. Not even a lot. And special attack drop does absolutely nothing because we're physical attacking. Because we are lovely physical attackers. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. Oh, we already knew this Pokemon. I do that every once in a while. I'm like, yo, who's his final Pokemon? He swapped it like an hour ago. We'll go for a Gleam. Gleam will take you out. And I'm just going to drop... I don't want to drop an EQ. We'll just drop a Rock Slide. I think Double Rock Slide would actually pick up the KO if they both connect. He cancels battle. We get off to a strong start and catch ourselves a win in battle number one. Our stats were ridiculous for our landers in battle number one. Hopefully we can get after it just like we did in battle number one. In battle number two, we're going up against a Cinderace team alongside Galarian Zapdos, Umbreon, Espeon, Ndidi, and Robin. Pretty cool team because I always dig the, uh, the evolutions on teams. So he's got two of them with Espeon and Umbreon and Umbreon's really good. He's a really good uh, support mon. But I, as much as I want to go into the Zapdos and Landers combo again, I think I'm just going to go Lapras and Grimstar. I'll try to show that one off and get rocking out from there. And then just have Regilecki. And the, ooh, I could go Regilecki and Coco turn one. But then if he goes in DD, then that just takes away my terrain. So we're going to stick with the Lapras and Grimstar. Get rocking out from there. I can fake tears turn one. I can fake out. I can do a lot. I can do a lot here. So let's see how this one plays out. But if he leaves it in DD, your boy's remembering. Cannot use fake out or first turn priority moves in a psychic surge. I've been learning a lot, as you guys can see by my content. I've been playing this game a lot more. And you guys can see I'm making a lot better reads, a lot better plays, and thinking a lot more before I actually click a button. Because when I first started playing, even like sometimes I do it uh, every once in a while, I'll just start clicking buttons before even thinking. Like I'll be like, oh, this is the play. When it's really not the play. But I'm going to end up Dynamax near. Uh, who do I take out? I think I'm just going to take out the bird. Because he might swap. He might swap. What's it called? Actually, I'm just going to fake out. I could fake out Cinderace. Or who do I fake out? I could fake out you. Because I, I think we're just going to fake out the bird. Because Cinderace might be Dynamaxing and he might be switching typing. Or he might be swapping. And I just want to get off this reward bell, and I feel like we can take this one out without a special defense boost. Here's a Dynamax. Who's he going into? Is it going to be the Cinder? Could be a coaching. Could be a coaching Zapdos as well. No, he's going to go into Ostrich Bird. He's going to go into Ostrich Bird. So we're going to Dynamax here as well. Might be trying to drop a Knuckle. Maybe I should have faked tears. I could always paralyze to slow down some Pokemon. So let's see how this one plays out. But the big part of this is going to be having this, uh, it's a war bell. The war bell and screens really do neglect a lot of damage. And a war bell is legit both in one. That's what's so good about it. That's what's so good about this G Max. You can take one turn, get that war bell set up, and it does damage alongside of it. So it's like, dude, it's so good. It's it's the best G Max move. I don't think there's a better one. Fake out comes out. We're just chipping away on that thing, and we get a crit. Yes, sir. Coaching's gonna come out here. Wow. The opposite. The opposite coach. It's the opposite coach. That's pretty dope. He's going to go before me. What's he going to drop? An airstream? Over on the Grimmy? Or Lapras? Over on the Grimmy. Grimmy's able to eat. That's huge. That's a huge eat for Grimstar. A speed boost is going to come through from them. And what do I do from here? Let's see how much damage we are really going to do. I wonder if I fake gears or start throwing... Uh... I wonder if I fake gears or start throwing... What's it called around? Paralyzes. Warbell's out and about. I might just fake tears because I don't think he's expecting it. I think we can just do an easy fake tier. And take you out. Or I can lightning. No, we're going to go for this resonance again because it is stab. I'd rather get off stab. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to fake tears on him. 
run it. Run it, baby. I might go for another speed boost, but speed boosts are scary. They definitely are, are scary. If my Grimstar ends up getting another turn, then I'm going to start uh, throwing around Paralyzes. Let's just see. I don't see him guarding this turn. I really don't. I mean, he could. But I just don't see it happening, considering we did so little HP. I think he's going to want to get off another turn here. Another coach and try to get off some big damage. He's going to end up ally switching, which is, uh, I guess, totally fine. I guess that's fine. I guess we'll take out Cinderace. A smart little play there. Now the question is, who's he going to take out from here? Is he going to take out Grimstar? Or is he going to go after my Lapras? This thing's probably Sash. With this type of moveset, he's probably Sash. He's going to go for a Quake, get that special defense boost. That was a smart play by him. Going to the Quake, he's going to get that special defense boost. And I think I just bring out Regilecki here. Right, do I bring out Regilecki? Or Co I could bring out Coco and Protect. Just get that Surge out. Because he'll probably go for a Quake from there. Here's my resonance. And is this gonna KO or, or at least bring it down to Sash? Let's see. He is Sash. That buttery biscuit. That son of a biscuit. Alright, so he is Sash, dude. This one this one's gonna be tough for us. Real tough for us. I gotta bring out Coco here. We are Sash. So honestly, I sh think I should just go into a like a gleam. I think I should just go into a gleam. Right? Because I don't see him doubling up into me. I think we just go into a gleam to take out, and then we... Do we Resonance, or do we set water? I say we just Resonance. Go after his bird, and just gleam again. That is our play. That is our play. Our Regilecki's gonna have to come up clutch here in battle number two. Hopefully he can. Hopefully he can come out the back end. But he only killed my Grimstar. He's gonna coach up again. We get a lovely little coach. Are you gonna go after Coco? Hopefully he goes for that Quake on the Coco. I do think he's gonna do that. So let's see what how this one plays out. Going to Quake. He is going to quake. There's another special defense boost. That's huge for him. And our Sash is going to pop. So we're Sashing. There's no buffets going around. His Dynamax turns are over. Mine are going to be over. And we're going to be able to take out Cinderace. And I'm surprised that bird is outspeeding our Coco. His Coco is really fast. I get he has a, he's plus one on speed. But still. Get some damage on both of them. And I don't think this Resonance is going to take it out considering he's plus two on that. On that special defense. But he is going to have to go very, very soon. So I'm going to target him down next turn. So there goes this. Getting some more damage. And War Veil is helping us out tremendously. This one's tough. This one's toughy. Real toughy. And Didi comes out and takes my Surge away. How dare you take my Surge away? Son of a gun. Taking my Surge away like that. Uh, he could go for a follow me. Which is probably what he's going to do. But hopefully a Gleam could take this thing out. A Gleam would be lovely. If a Gleam could finish that thing off, that would be awesome. But I do think he's going to go for a follow me. I might just go for an Ice Beam, or I might try to lock down on a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump could be big. Hmm. I think a Gleam should be able to do that. But I think we Hydro Pump over into it just in case. It doesn't. But let's go for it. Let's try to rock it. I think a follow me is coming out here anyway, right? Yep. There's follow me. We need to gleam. Actually, he's probably just going to KO my Coco, right? Thunder's kick's going to come out here. Or are you going? That might go after my Lapras. Let's see how this one plays out. Nope. He goes after Coco. I mean, I'm kind of cool with it. Considering E-Web's definitely going to be able to take it out. But do I want a choice into an E-Web? We might have to. There's a nice, lovely little Hydro Pump. He has special defense plus one. And we have to bring out Regilecki. And we have to bring out the lovely little Regilecki. He's coming out here. He's coming out here. Alright. Hmm. I don't want to go for here. I might just Ice Beam. Considering I just feel like Hydro Pump's going to miss. I don't know why. I have an odd feeling about it. I do see E-Web taken out, so I am going to choice back into an E-Web. That's my plan. We can take Speed Control for the rest of the battle. And see how this one actually turns out. I don't think that I don't think that Zapdos is rocking protect on him. And I'm hoping my Regilecki actually outspeeds him here. I should actually check the speeds of the Coco and the Regilecki, but I think he should be able to outspeed, right? Yep, he does. E-Web comes out here. We can say bye-bye to Zapdos. Get him out my lobby. Get him out my game. And we're going to come across here with an Ice Beam because we now outspeed that thing. And is that Indeedee going for a... Is that Indeedee going for a... 
An expanding force? Give me the freeze, Lapras. Give me the freeze. Show it to me. Nope. Mystical fire comes out. Yo, I'm, I'm chilling with that. I'm totally chilling with that. He wants that special attack to drop. But, yo, I'm, I'm liking where we're sitting. We have E-Web. We have Speed. We have Choice Spec. Who's his final mod? Oh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> Grassy Shirt is going to pop out here. I think I might just protect the Lapras here. Or he might fake me out. He might protect the Lapras. Mm. What do we do here? I think I'm just going to protect Lapras. We'll protect Lapras. We'll go for an E-Web. What's he going to do here? Because he, he can't glide on me, which I don't like. I maybe should have hit with the Lapras. But if he doesn't fake out my Regilecki, then we're going to be able to outspeed. Let's see his play here. Let's see his play. This one, this one's a, this, this guy's a tough guy over here. Little boom. Tough, tough last Pokemon to go up against with these two. He's going to go for a follow me. That's totally fine. So he is going to go for, I think, a glide. I think he's going to go for a glide. There's a glide. And it goes into Regilecki. He hard reads my protect. He hard reads my protect. Yo, GG's on that one. GG's on this battle. We're definitely going to end up losing this one. He's going to be able to glide out and finish me off. The Regilecki is such a lightweight. So tough. I guess we'll go for a Hydro Pump. He's probably just going to go for a follow me here. Let's see how this one plays out. Yep, there's follow me. Glide's going to get flying out here. And he's going to be able to finish off this battle. No problem. No problemo. Can we eat the first one? We can eat the first one. Can you miss a ground? I don't think you can miss a grand spot. I don't think I've ever seen anybody miss a grand spot. But at least we take out this Indeedy and we bring it down to a 1v1. And GG's to this guy. GG's to this guy. My dang lightweight Regilecki. All I needed was him to eat up one turn. Or I thought he was going to go into that Lapras. But some smart play by him to actually read that protect. That was huge. That was a huge part of this guy's win here. Rex guy comes out here, finishes us off. We are now sitting at one and one, and we're gonna hop to our third and final battle and look to get that winning record for you guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Gujra team. It's looking tough, not gonna lie. He has Alcreme with it, with Mudsdale, Comfy, Milotic, and Halucha. I don't know how I should play this one. I might go into the Lapras combo for the third and final battle. Try to get rocking out with them. He has that Mudsdale, so I gotta watch out for my electric Pokemon. I think Lapras and Grimstone is going to be the, the way here. It checks that Mudsdale. It checks the uh, the Gudra. So I think I got to go in with these two. Start fake tearing up and rocking out from there. Um, next Pokemon behind him. I think I'm going to go Landers. I think Landers works out decently well here. And then final Pokemon. I really want Regilecki. But that Mudsdale. That Mudsdale is scaring me a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. But I think I am going to bring Regilecki just as a back end Pokemon. Because he just does work on a lot of these guys. Except for the Mudsdale. And that's my only problem. That is going to be my only problem. Let's hop into it. Let's get after it. Let's try to get ourselves that winning record in our third and final battle. I wonder who he's going to lead because this team is looking pretty cool. And it reminds me of one of my favorite teams I ever used, which was uh, it was a Mudsdale. It was a Swagger Mudsdale team, own tempo Mudsdale team. And you would swagger him up with the Grimstarl and just dominate. I remember I went on my highest win streak. I think it was like 15 plus. Dude, I was killing it with that team. Here goes Mudsdale and Alcreme. Mudsdale and Alcreme. Okay. With that said, uh... Hmm. With that said, his own tempo, or is this one could be stamina? But I think. Can we lower his stats? Let's go for resonance. Resonance is going to be a player. I think I'm just going to fake out Alcrema here, just so he doesn't get any like boost or support from him. So we're going to see a Dynamax from his Mudsdale, and we're going to see a Dynamax from my Pokemon. But more importantly, we are going to be able to get off this fake out here and neglect any support coming in from Alcremi. So I'm going to fake out him. And then I might just start passing. I think I can fake tier him, right? Or will own tempo be like, okay, you're not allowed to do that. I totally forget how own tempo works. I actually might look that up right now. All the moves go out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Gene's got a, Gene's got a double monitor for a reason. Own tempo. Let's see. I got it right next to me. So, own tempo. It's an ability. This Pokemon has its own tempo and it prevents it from being confused. In depth, the Pokemon cannot be confused. Okay, so it's just confused. Blocks, intimidates. Okay, so it can block, intimidate. Is that it? Big out comes out here. Right, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. He's going to go for a Quake. Get that special defense boost, which is totally fine. Totally fine. 
we're able to eat up all day. And I can fake tears next turn. I can do a lovely little fake tears next turn. He's going to get special defense boost. And I'd rather knock him down a little bit. Knock him down a couple strings here. Here goes our residence. We're going to be able to get off our lovely little Aurora Veil. Which is so huge for us. Even though this thing is a bulky, buttery biscuit. That's the only problem with Mudsdown. He's super bulky. Like, ridiculously bulky. And he's stamina now. Okay, so he wasn't even own tempo. Defense boost is coming out here. Okay, I think we gotta start getting rid of him, right? I think I'm just gonna geyser over onto him. And fake tier him. That's gonna be play. We're gonna fake tier and geyser onto him. Definitely gonna play. Hit this fake tier. Just so we get this weather control out here as well. So our next geyser can do a lot more damage. And he's gonna decorate. He's decorating the boy. Leave me alone. Go right for my Grimstarl, please. Go for my Grimstone. Is he going to go for another Quake? He is going to go for another Quake. So he's going to be back down to normal. He's going to be back down to normal. And he is going to end up taking out my Grimstone, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. Let's see this thing's stats. It's going all. You should be able to check Pokemon stats before you, uh, before you swap in a Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Here goes my Geyser. Throw some damage up on him. And get an Anthem. So lovely little damage. Another Geyser will take out. I could protect, I could fly. Um, I might fly over onto the Alcreme slot and just geyser over onto him. There's another stamina boost. Because we know another geyser will take him out, no problem. But we know he's going to be able to outspeed. So I'm going to go Lando, and I'm going to end up flying out here and dipping. And geysering over into him. That would be a huge play if we could actually pull this one off. Love a little Intimidate coming out here. This thing's just getting like stat boost, stat drops left and right. So I, I really want to see his stats and see where he's sitting at. Let's go to info. Check out the mud cell. Dude, I love this Pokemon. And yo, he's so simple. Pretty, man. Defense plus two. Special. Mm, ouch. I don't like that one bit. Uh, we'll drop another geyser. And like I said, I'm just going to dip out with a fly. Dip out with a fly. Because I think he's going to drop a rock on me, right? You going to drop a rock on me? Show me you're dropping a lovely little rock on me. You going to decorate. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. Show me the rock. Show me Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Onto my Lando. Now he goes for a quake. Ooh, ooh. I don't like that one bit. Eat up, eat up. Eat up, Lapras. Love you. Love you, Lapras. All right, I'll take that turn any day of the week. I'll take that turn any day of the week. Considering I think we still take out this uh, this guy right here. No problem, right? In the rain now. Gives us that boost. It shouldn't neglect that special defense boost and finish him off. Yes, okay. Thank you. We get rid of the mud cell. That's huge for us. That is huge. We have a war bell set up. We have weather. We have Orlando out here with Life Orb flying into this decorate Alcreme. And we have our Reg Lucky in the back with his mud cell out the way. His mud cell was the, uh, the big threat to him. Mud cell was the big threat. That helps us out tremendously. He's going to swap into Halucha. And Halucha's kind of scary, man. I might protect here. I'm going to break the mold, man. I'm going to break the mold. I think I'm just going to protect my. Uh, my Lapras here. So I can see a heavy hit coming out from him. I see a heavy hit coming out from him. Is he going to decorate on him? We know he's physical attacking. That comes out from my Lapris. Lapris with, with Protect. Flying Press comes through. Blah. Exactly what we wanted. Land is going to be able to go. And we know Halucha outspeeds Lando now, which is kind of tough. Fly comes out here. Get him out of here. Dumps on out, Kremme. That's a big turn for us. A big turn for us. I have Regilecki in the back. And Halucha could be Sash. And that could be a problem. So, what do I want to do here? Do I want to Rock Slide? I think I do want to Rock Slide. And drop an Ice Beam into Gujra. Gujra could be Policy. Could be Policy. Electric is not very effective. So, I do want to Ice Beam. I still want to Ice Beam into him. And I think I'm just going to drop a... I could fly. I'm going to fly onto Halucha. I'm going to do a lovely little fly. I think it's going to come down to my uh, my Landorus winning this one for us. Let's see. Lion Press comes through. That's probably going to take us out. It does. Lion Press does indeed take us out. And the real question is, is this Halucha Sash? Because we're going to fly up here. Guja's going to miss. And I can just drop E-Webs all day. Flamethrower was coming out here. Yo, you were flamethrowing on me? In the rain? What was that about? Bring out my choice spec, Regilecki. And now I gotta determine what move do I really want to choice into. What move the Sheens really want to choice into? I think I'm just gonna choice into an E-Web just to slow them down. And take off Sash if Halucha is Sash. 
E web comes out. Yo. Getting some damage off on that, that thing. And it's not Sash, so that E actually works uh, even better. Because then our fly is going to go over onto the Gudra. So I really do like that turn. I really do like choosing in the E web. Does a lot of damage. Fly is going to pop out here. And can we pick up the KO? We do not, but I think one more turn we should do the trick here. Let's see what he goes to do. He goes to a Surf. That's actually kind of scaring me. Okay. Okay, that was scaring me a lot. Considering it was in the rain, I was like, yo, hold up. This could pick up a double KO. <laughs> but we have speed on these guys all day. Another Surf could win in the game. But I'm just going to go for an E-Web. And do I just go for a EQ? Sorry, Regilecki, but we're going for its EQ. Actually, Regilecki outspeeds. So, we're going for the EQ just because I know it hits harder. And there it is. Battle was canceled. We get that winning record for you guys in that third and final battle. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Got to show off every single Pokemon on this team, which I absolutely love. Shout out to Will for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely loved it, and I'm glad we were able to catch that winning record with this. We got to show off the coaching Zapdos with the Landers, and we also got to show off the Grimmsnarl and Lapras combo, and show off Regilecki and Tapu Koko as back-end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.